Hey, it's Jason Falls with Social Media Explorer, and uh, we are going to look at a social media tool today that's pretty cool. Uh, it's called Prophylactic. Um, you can laugh if you want to, uh, but we're here with uh, Sean Morton, who is the founder and uh, one of the uh, masterminds behind this software, and we're actually going to look at the software as well. And uh, you know, just to kind of give you a little frame of reference and background, uh, Sean lives like one mile from my house, so this was a pretty easy interview to pull off. Um, but Sean, tell us a little bit about um, Prophylactic, how it started, who's involved, and what it does. Okay, sure. Um, Prophylactic is a social media aggregator, um, sometimes known as a digital lifestyle aggregator, sometimes known as a live streaming service. You know, we don't care what you call it, but. Um, the idea behind it is it pulls in all of the social media that you're creating all over the web, um, no matter what site you put it on, and brings it all together in, um, in one page that we call a mashup. So um, we support 111 sites right now, which means that if you're using Dig, Delicious, Flickr, Twitter, um, and lots of other sites, you can bring all that stuff together. Uh, we'll put it in a chronological mashup that you can check out. Um, and if we don't have a site that, that you use, you can add it yourself. So um, we basically support any site um, and we do the same thing for all your friends stuff so um, all your friends content can be brought together and you can check it out in one page. Very cool. Now if someone were to, uh, I guess the, the question would be okay I can look at a feed of all my stuff on the internet, my blog posts, all the stuff I'm bookmarking and uh, my Twitter feed and all that good stuff and then I can look at my friends if they're in here uh, as well that's pretty cool. Well, what what advantages does does someone have using prophylactic? Why did why would someone use it? Um, mainly, it's for efficiency. You know, I, we built the tool for ourselves first and foremost. You know, um, in you know my day job, I'm out looking at a lot of sites, was signing up for a lot of services, and found that I couldn't really, you know, it wasn't easy to keep up with everything that was out there. And so once we put prophylactic together, I realized that for a lot of the connections I had online there was a lot more content out there that I didn't realize existed so I might have known somebody on Vimeo or on Flickr you know they're on prophylactic all of a sudden I realize that they're on Twitter also and that they're also a blogger that I would like to read so it's really been an efficiency tool for us because in addition to having just the website we have you know RSS feeds you can take with you we've got a daily email digest that will send you everything your friends have done in the last 24 hours and kind of unlike a lot of you know some of the other sites in the space um, we don't send you an email to tell you to come back to the site to check out the stuff. We send you the stuff. So it's like, here are the links directly to the content your friends have made so that we're not sending you back and routing you through some process on our site. So, you know, I think efficiency is, is the main benefit. Cool. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's look at it a little bit. Uh, hopefully the, the image can come through on the camera. And now I might actually stand up here so I can sort of see the screen sort of front on. And this is obviously your, uh, your mashup yep. of, of, of your profile. And, uh, and you can see there's a lot of Twitter there. Uh, yeah, lots of Twitter. Um, we've got shared items from Google Reader, which we support. Um, we've got, let me see if we can find, you know, we embed video. So if you use Vimeo or YouTube, um, you know, we have code in place. It takes kind of the link that's in the RSS feed and goes ahead and puts the embed code in there. So you can actually, you know, if you wanted to, you could play the video. Very cool. Um, on the site, so it, you know you don't have to do anything um, to make that happen. It just does it automatically. Um, and you may notice some of the things here, like this thing says added clipping. That's another feature we offer, which basically allows you to kind of keep a web scrapbook. So if someone else has taken a picture of you at an event, or if you wrote an article for, um, you know, for a website, you can actually well. <laughs> you can trust me. You can. That, that's the that's the Jason Falls uh, connection. That that's my we're at my house, so this is uh, this is part of my fault that this is stalling a little bit. But um, what you would see is a list of things that I have saved. Um, some of the videos I shot when I was at CES, um, you know, photos that I've appeared in, things like that, which we should see any time. Um, <laughs> but you know, so those so you have kind of this ability to take everything you've created and bring it in, but also anything that anyone else has created that that is about you. Um, you can pull in as well. So very cool. <laughs> the connection, the connection is timed out. Uh, the social media explorer needs some like satellite, you know, army grade stuff. So send that, please. Um, well, that's coming back. I guess I can also show you. Um, we do support um, badges. So in addition to RSS feeds, which you, know, you can put in Google Reader or any other um, software like that, we can actually you can actually also put a badge, which is this section over here, which mm -hmm. that's pulling in the last seven items that have come out of my mashup. Tells you the link, which takes you directly to the item, tells you where it came from. Um, and you can also kind of get 
the badge here that shows you all the sites where um, where very, I hang out. So very cool. Um, again, takes you directly to the site um, with to your profile. So um, doesn't route you through our site, but um, is just an efficient way to let your blog, you know, visitors who may know your blog but don't know that you're on Twitter, they don't know that you're on Delicious to be able to get that content as well. And that's uh, that was you were you were looking at uh, Smorty71.com by the way. That's yeah. uh, uh, Sean Morton was where the Smorty comes from, obviously. Um, and so that that's pretty cool. Um, and I, I think the the most fascinating thing for me about this whole thing, Sean, is that. Uh, what, what is your monetization model? <laughs> Our monetization model right now is to not monetize, <laughs> which it's really kind of uh, it's a patent pending process that we're doing. Um, <laughs> basically, you know, we built the tool for ourselves first of all, but also um, two of the three of us have day jobs. Um, and although our day job is you know has given us our blessing and, and you know all that stuff, um, they are a media site that depends a lot on advertising. So at this point, you know we have. You know, for us, what we feel a fair number of users and page views, but not enough to really, you know, at this point, make anything happen with it. And so we're, you know, just to avoid any kind of issue, um, sure. you know, we've just decided to wait and see uh, see where it goes. Very good. So basically, it's a. Uh, uh, I'll interpret that for you in that it is a, a cool tool to use to bring all your live streams together and the live streams of your friends together. Um, it's it's free to use. And uh, they're constantly working on new developments uh, and tweaking it, and they're not making any money doing it. It's a resource for the community, uh, which is kind of the ultimate sort of social media, uh, you know, props for that. So, very good. Sean, thanks for uh, coming by the house and showing us what's no going problem. on. Thanks. And uh, y you need to go out there and, and uh, wrap yourself in prophylactic. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for stopping by on socialmediaexplorer.com.